It's not. It's going to be stupid. How's it going, guys? A uh, Royal T here with some more Battlefield Bad Company 2. I have uh, part 2 of Laguna Presa attack right here. Still uh, doing a little tank horning, trying to get some kills, clear out the area so my uh, team can arm A. I don't know why that guy was hiding there, probably not the best spot. <laughs> the tank 15 feet from you. I noticed they traced me, so I was going to try and hide behind this building right here. Works okay, but can't really kill anybody from back here. Keep getting rocketed. I like to emphasize the fact that you should not get out of your tank if you're getting fucked over. If you're about to die, just stay in that fucking tank. Go down with the ship. If you hop out, the enemy team can run over, jump in, repair it, and then they have the tank. Which is not a good thing. So... Even though I'm at 2 health right here, if I wanted to stay alive, I probably could have gotten out, but the smart thing to do is just stay in that tank, guys. Normally when I'm attacking B, I'll go around to the left. I'm not really sure why I went this way. I mean, you can have a pretty good vantage point from up here above B. It's not bad, but you're kind of exposed to fire, especially if you're so far forward. There's a little ridge right behind me you can get behind and have like a, at least a little bit of cover. Probably should have been back there. Eventually kill that guy. That was, that was pathetic. I don't know why I never shoot at that guy over by the shack. I don't know, I just, I don't know if I just never noticed him or what. But it's pretty pathetic. And I think he finally ends up taking me out. Right here, I guess I'm trying to push up the gut, which is really not a good idea. You should really take at least one of the flanks. Go all the way around, or at least up on that cliff right there. It was pretty stupid. Hop out of this tank because I don't want to give somebody a triple kill and then I get goosed off immediately. <laughs> Epic fail. I noticed we got a couple guys going on B, so I was going to try and provide some cover fire and try and take out as many enemies as possible. It goes a lot all right for a little while. Get Yahtzee right there. Spotting is so important. I, I spotted that guy running across, and it gave me the extra spot of that guy hiding behind the, behind the MCOM. Can't underestimate spotting in this game. It's huge. Helps me find enemies so much. I tried playing hardcore for a little while, but I'm just not a huge fan. I don't know. It seems like you have to like go so much slower. It just seems like a slower-paced game, and you die so fast. But I'm sure plenty of people like it. But it's just not for me. So right up here is a pretty good spot. I'm right on top of the hill. I'm even a little bit over the ridge. So if I get started getting shot, I can back away. Hopefully, and uh, hopefully the my whole entire body isn't exposed to the enemy. Like right here, I'm only exposing half my uh, torso. Take out a couple guys right here. Making sure I stay up on top of this ridge. And right here, I'm like, oh my god, so many people to kill. I think I managed to take out, I don't know, one or two of them. Probably firing a little bit too fast to maintain accuracy on the F M60. I think I probably should have slowed it down a little bit. Probably would have had more success right there. It's a super lucky shot right there. I'm not sure how I didn't get this guy right here. Pretty terrible aim. Just combined with some ridiculous recoil. See right there, I was getting shot, so I just bail off the backside. Pretty nice to have that escape route. I managed to blow up B. 
And now we're on to the last set. So our pubs were behaving for the most part this entire game, but on this last set, I don't know what they were doing. Like, they were just hanging out in our base, like, c 4 quads and just not even doing anything. It was really annoying. I think somebody called out that there was a guy around here, so I was trying to find him. Pop this Wookiee up. You see right here, I think a stationary AT goes flying past me. Is that right here? Or maybe it's later. I don't know what that guy was doing. Yeah, but our pubs are just being fucking retarded. So I'm trying to do this left flank up here. I'm a huge fan of this one. The right flank's nice, but it's a little crowded. And you don't have the elevation advantage that the left flank gives you. Then there's a little bit of cover over here if you want to hide behind that little hill I just ran over. So get back here, checking the wooden structures. There's usually Wookiees hiding up up there, but not right now. And I see there's a guy on the heavy MG in this first uh, portable unit right here. I'm going to go charge in there and knife his ass, but... Somebody fucking spawns right behind me and kills me. Oh, I was so pissed. I ran so far. And then he fucking killed me. So painful. Fortunately, I think Jupiter uh, Ghost already had a pretty forward spawn. I was trying to take out this guy with the heavy MG right here. I, wasn't, I couldn't remember if he could shoot through the portable walls, but it looked like he can't. That or I just wasn't hitting him. But I'm pretty sure he can't sh shoot through those walls. They were hiding in that front building by A, like the whole stage. It was really annoying. Here, I'm taking on these two medics, and I get the bright idea that to hop on the heavy MG, but it's pointed in completely the wrong direction, which just fails. I would have been way better off just keeping my M60 on him and blasting away. I think I got one dude right here before I get taken out again. This was like seriously a crazy match. So much dying and carnage. It was pretty awesome. Ghost picks me up, but I'm a little disoriented and <laughs> end up dying right away again. Did not see that guy. So right here we're kind of probing the right flank again. We've we've been probing the left flank the whole game, so if it's not if it's not working, we pretty much just alternate flanks back and forth. It seems to work, you know. You get all of your enemies on one side, and then you surprise them on the other side. Works out all right, I think. Get a couple kills. Here's another spot where spotting comes in huge. Every time I pause my reticle, I'm hitting the back button. I'm hoping something's gonna pop up. And right there, I, I didn't even see that guy, but hitting the back button made that guy pop up and just laid him down. Right here, I saw some guys in there and probing for hit markers. I see he was still getting hit markers, so I'm just blasting away. I probably should have slowed it down a little bit. And kind of just spread out my bullets more. Probably wouldn't spend some more uh, more efficient wall banging. So you got one kill, but it could have gotten more. It was more efficient. Here I'm just kind of probing around and they, they lay me down. Spawn on these guys and take out these medics. Yeah. Apparently there's a guy in the back right corner because I completely missed him. And he fucking owns me and ghosts. Sorry about that, dude. Probably should have checked my surroundings a little more. But I thought it was just those two medics in there. So I'm going back to my normal left flank. I think we, right here, we decided to split up and have uh, flakes and ghosts go right, and then Jeep and I took the left flank. I'm not sure how that works. It might be better to split squads as opposed to splitting your squad up. I'm not sure. Like I have one squad go left, one squad go right as opposed to two and two, but we only had four people in this game, so we're kind of limited. Well, it's popped up jute, but fortunately uh, we managed to kill the guy that killed me and maintain our route on the left flank. Get a couple guys before I get sniped. So somebody made it in, and I think Droop threw a Wookie ball, and 
I heard somebody pinging on it, so I knew we were close. But I don't know why I completely forgot that he was on top of the portable. But I was, I was looking around for him everywhere. And completely failed. But I do have to go on a nice little run right here. I could get like six kills in 20 seconds or something. There's one, two. There's three right here. <laughs> Here's four, five, and six. <laughs> right here, uh, Ghost was telling me to lay low so I, they could have a mobile spawn back here, but that's my version of laying low. Right there, I figured, you know, I killed half the team, so I should probably be able to RMA, right? But, uh,. Not so much. I probably should have run across here and jumped on the other side of the MCOM, but I was afraid of uh, falling down through the cracks. And that guy fucking kills me before I can arm it up. Probably would have won the game right there if I could have got that arm down. But I died, so it's pretty much over. So I'm just running in here with only six tickets left and A not even set. The game's pretty much over. So I'm just going to go try and pick up a couple kills before the game's over. I don't know what they're doing on our quad. <laughs> See that sniper is still back up there on top of the portable. Uh, I guess that's the game, guys. Uh, went 62 and 32. Pretty epic game. The ghost had a beast game too. So did Yahtzee. Fucking pretty ridiculous. I guess Dupe and Branflex are pretty sweet games too. Um, Yahtzee whipped our ass along with my grand. Uh, pretty fun game, but we lost. Uh, hope you guys like the videos. Uh, royalty out.